All right. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Beyond the Edge of Fate D and D stream episode three. Last session, our brave heroes conquered a dungeon and found their way, are making way towards the other half of Bytopia to uncover the mystery of what's going on. So, as I recall, we ended our last session with you guys standing outside the front of the tower ready to head up to the next level. Right. <laughs> that is correct. Right. So you guys ready to head on up? Yeah. Right. Change up. Going up! Going up! All aboard, who's going to go aboard? The keyboard looks so nice now. I will say this, I do have the That I might have said so everybody can press. I hope I do. Otherwise, that would be really bad if I didn't. You guys find so yourselves y'all. in the wild and savage half of Bytopia. If you look up, you can see the more peaceful half <laughs> standing above you. So, what do you guys do? Uh, what? A, what? A, you said our surrounding is a what? You stand in the middle of a dark, savage, rainy forest. Rainy Force. All right, those are the details I'm looking for. Um, see, uh, can we see anything, or is it like mid, like moonlight, anything, or is it just black as night? It's moonlit. You can oh. you can see relatively decently. You all have, uh, well, all except Hope have dark vision, so you'd be yeah, able to see fairly well. All right. You can't really cool. perceive much in the way of right. color, but you can see objects fine. Right. All right. So let's go. Two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm running a nature check on my surroundings. All right. So <laughs> this is our first nat one. Nat one. You don't really recognize anything. It's just too dark for you to see what's going on right now. Uh, venture forward and see if I stumble across anything. All right. Once reaching here, I want to. What is um? Hang on, let my brain think for a second. A okay, so it's a D twenty plus what? What are you trying to do? Same thing yes. as Dakota to see what, if check? I can recognize anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, just to clarify, nature check is when you're trying to. Identify what a specific type of plant would be if, if you're trying That's to... That's exactly what I was okay. trying to do. So you're trying to identify so, what plants are in the area? Yes, so I can gather information on my surroundings. Okay. I want to do just a general investigation, so that is a d20 uh, plus in... Is, proficiency wouldn't that habit, be a percept... Right? Wouldn't that be an invest... Okay. That would just be a normal investigation, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, wait. Investigation does one, and, and uh, Perception does the other, I think? I forgot how our so, DM explained that last time. Nature is if you're trying to identify specific plants or creatures. Survival no, is, if, is a general wilderness check. Then I'm going to do a survival With, check. Survival is wisdom. I want to do it in a general investigation, so that's a d20. D20 plus int. D20 plus int. So I gotta do an advanced roll for that because I have a minus one. I'm kind of dumb and I forgot to pull my character sheet. Six. 
I didn't pull. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get much. Yeah, you, no idea. Oh, okay, that works. I can live with that. But I need someone crossing the mall to walk me over here. And I roll a 12. That would be a... Was that survival or nature? Survival. That okay. is survival. So, yeah, I mean... It seems pretty wild. Seems pretty rough. Like... These are some serious... Serious backwoods. I'm waiting for a border run by with a hillbilly riding it. Alright. A gnomish hillbilly. That's what I'm expecting. Can I, can I fly up and take a better look around and see if I can see anything out of the ordinary? The forest is pretty dense. You, The DC would actually increase if you tried to fly up. And Hope can't see Dizzy's squat. <laughs> Hope's blind here. If, she, if her hope was an artificer, I'd say invest in making some night vision goggles. Yeah. Not high enough level. Yep. Uh, that was actually a thing. I was being a smart ass. That's an actual thing. <laughs> oh, goggles dang. of the night. Yep. Oh, man. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to venture further in. All right. Lauren will right. follow along behind. So will hope. Uh about this rock. This rock looks like a good place to stop. Yeah, it's a split in half. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Is there a check to see if we hear anything um, out of the ordinary or anything? Like a sound check or something? I would say make a perception check. Perception? Okay. Perception. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. Yep. That's just a rate. base D20. And another six. No, it's, awesome. You don't really notice I, anything. Okay. I'm going to make one along the side of him. Wow. Okay. Yeah, also wow. don't notice anything. <laughs> looks like the dice well, there's, do, looks like the There's dice three of them in like the last it. six minutes. All right. There's three so sixes in the last three minutes. Here. I'm going to freaking try something here real quick. No, no, the dice just do not like us today. Even your real dice? I even my also my uh, dice on my uh, the uh, dice roll I have on my phone. I just rolled a nat one. <laughs> All right, you guys are in for a run. The dice just the dice just do not like us today. And fortunately for you, this big bad fucker don't like you either. What the deuce is that? that <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> is an undead no, no. owl bear. Oh, dang. Oh, oh good. Go oh, why? Why? I guess I guess it's initiative time in that case. Yep. Roll for initiative. That's D20 plus dex. Dex of five. Yay, boy. Proficiency's not on initiative, right? That's only on attack? No, no proficiency on initiative. It's just d20 plus dex. Okay, that's what I thought. Boom. Another six! Oh my god. No one we'll take a look at what I rolled. 18. Oh, <laughs> thank 20. you, Ho. Thank okay. you, Ho, for pulling in that 20. Alright, let me pull out notes. Ay, 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 these sixes, bruh. Ways with the low rolls today. What the heck? I don't care about the low rolls, but it's a six every time. Aye, aye, aye. Freaking what Hope the rolled like net net 20. 20. Uh huh. Hope, did you blow on your dice before you rolled them? No. Okay. Just I rolled the random generator dice. 
Uh, come on, random generator, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. 20. Man, this is it. Alright. Oh, so, crap. <laughs> hope crap. goes first. I go second. Well, in player role. I don't know about the Albert. I don't know what he rolled. Yeah. yeah. It's Hope's turn. Okay, well, everyone's kind of blocking my view. Yeah. And I can't move into the dense forest without disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't have disadvantage because I'm at. Because of your got spell here. sniper. You have snap yeah. bell sniper. Okay, I have line of sight on the owl bear. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. All right, roll the hit. <laughs> okay, that hits. That hits. Oh, God, what the heck? And here I was th thinking the dice would be angry at you. And <laughs> just. Two. I think the dice well, giving him better love. I did five. I did ten damage. Ten damage. Yes, because I forgot to factor in. I have repelling blast and agonizing blast. And according okay. to agonizing blast, I add a plus three, which is my charisma modifier, okay. onto my damage. Okay. And you got two it's on the actual dice, and then that's double. But, so yeah, ten. No. Yep. Yeah. All right, it is now the owl bear's turn. <laughs> and he is going to roll an attack against the one that's right Excuse in front. Well, of course. Of course. <laughs> attack the most beautiful babe in the area. Jealous little owl bear. Oh come on, I am right up. I am right up there with you in terms of looks. <laughs> so, so don't uh, even well, give me that. I'm right up in there. <laughs> A he can't hit. see you. You're behind me. Thirteen? No, it does not. <laughs> All right. First attack. God, oh my. Does I it have multi-attack? Eleven. Does an eighteen hit? I hate you, out there. <laughs> yes, so you... that hit. Okay. Let's see. Ew! I got undead owlbear germs on me. Someone got some hand sanitizer. <laughs> owlbear germs. Where are you gonna rub that on your boobs? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Make them I'm shinier. Sorry. I am so glad I marked this not safe for kids. <laughs> Bust out the baby oil. What, your girls just... got scratched? Oh my god, yeah, I am so glad glad I marked, marked this appropriately. <laughs> I don't you think I'm going to get monetized for this one. 17 points of damage. What? I mean, what? <laughs> what the? It just got <laughs> running. Friggin' titanium claws? Yep. God dang. Okay. Holy crap. Dang, what did he roll? He rolls 2d8 plus 5 damage. On his secondary attack. And so let's see, with that, it is now... No. Alexander's turn. Oh, what the fuck? You gotta be shading me. I can no longer hear you guys. It just crapped the fuck out for some reason. Alright. <sighs>
Hmm. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay, I can see your guys' audio's going off. But I can't actually hear you for some reason. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear Dakota. And I see that Jazz and that Jazz and Alexandra are talking. But I'm not getting any audio from them. Can you hear me, uh, uh, Hope? Yes. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear, yeah, I can hear you now. Hello? Hello? Alright. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay. All four of us. Please! Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not jinxing shit. Yeah. Alright. 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 After right. uh, attempted after some uh, technical after difficulties, attempted murder. Yeah. We after can... this, it, it, uh, this technically attempted murder. Yeah. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> um. It would be his turn. Yeah, it It'd is be now Alexander's turn. turn. Oh goodness gracious, Jesus! Louise. Um, I'm going to start off with black armament. What does that do buffing again? my next buffing my next attack with necrotic damage. 
Oh, right, that's a concentration spell. Allows you to add an additional 1d4 necrotic damage. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That's a bonus um, action, if I recall. Yeah, I'll take my bonus action. So, proceed with um, an attempted wailing. Alright. Roll for attack. Right. Roll is... Attack is d20 plus dex and just plus dex. Plus your proficiency. Oh, plus proficiency, okay. Let's see if this hits. No. What in the ever loving F? <laughs> Do I get to roll twice for two attacks? I, I don't remember if you get extra attack at this level or not. Oh, good point. I don't have. No, because I have dagger. Right, but that takes your bonus action. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's my turn you... then. Yeah, I think you get All extra right, attack so... at level 5. Okay, I'm moving over here. Okay, you take All a right. of opportunity. God dang it. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. You better roll a 2. Natural 20. I'm dead. I, I, I called it. I am dead. Okay, let's... Somebody come revive me. You take 21 points of damage. I'm dead. Like, literally, you're, yeah. you're yeah, down? Yeah, I'm literally dead. You're dead dead. Yes. Well, no, I have no help. Hit, when, your hit, when your hit points reach zero, you make a death saving throw. You need I to beat a 10. Turn. So roll a d20. Roll a d20. Just base d20? Base d20. Just need to beat a 10. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, you're going to need to do that three times in order to not die. Oh, joy. Okay. Unless someone comes over and heals you. Okay. I so don't I do that at the beginning and the end of each turn. Fortunately, you got a cleric. So. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they succeed. It is what they my turn. Do. Yes, it is now Jazz's turn. I'm going to cast this thing. thing. I'm going to cast Chilling Touch. I don't remember what that does. So is there movement? Basically, it, basically, uh, so you create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of the creature within range, which is 120 feet. <laughs> Make a ranged spell attack against the creature, creature, and it, on hit, the target takes 1d8 necrotic damage, and since it is an undead dead, any attack against me me is rolled at disadvantage at the end of my next turn. Alright, so roll for an attack. That'd be a 20 plus my spell modifier. Yeah. Which is 14. No. Uh, so it would be end. I think. Right, Z? Right, boss? I don't remember. D20 plus his, uh, I don't remember what his charisma modifier is. Oh, it's charisma. I was thinking it has intelligence. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. No, my charisma is plus four. Plus four? Plus proficiency. Yeah. Plus proficiency. Yeah, so D20 plus four and proficiency. D20 plus six. Yeah. So that would be 13. That does not hit. Fly up What's the very AC high. on this thing? Oh, God, I am fucked. <laughs> <laughs> if this kills the campaign here, I'm going to laugh my butt off. I'd be so disappointed. Yeah. All right. So is that your turn, Jazz? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm. <laughs> it moves extra distance. Alright, get as far away as you can. Now, keep in mind, any attacks from that position would be at disadvantage because of the tree in your way. Unless you have Spell Sniper. Yeah, unless you have Spell Sniper, which I don't believe you do. No, I uh, hope's the only one specializing in sniping. Damn it, you sniping. know what? I could have twin spelled it. Yep. Well, is that nope. our cleric's oh. turn? Yep. Or is it, it is now yeah, our, cleric's turn. our cleric's turn. He's going to run on over to our down suck you by. Let me bring up his spells real quick. Just specify I'm flat down, not knees down. Yeah. She, she's laying flat on her face. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, she tried to, like, beeline away. Okay, I'm going to cast that drop. Cure Wounds <clears throat> on you. Did, oh, right. Didn't she still have an action? Who? Who would still have an action? Did... Did, did she still have an action? Because you used your bonus action to attack, didn't you? I, no. I, no, I, no. I bonus, atta bonus action to buffed and main action to uh, attack. Yeah. Okay. And then ran away. Okay. So, cure wounds. Alright. You receive six points of healing. All right. And they are also going to, let's see, use Healing Word. Do I still need to make a death saving throw? You take an additional nine points of healing. All right. Mm, no, because you got healed. Yeah, so you're back up. Oh, Okay. Six plus okay. nine. Fifteen, uh, 15 health, yay. I still cannot survive a single attack from that out there. So. We're now back up the initiative order. Hope. Alright. Oh. Get him, Hope. Blow his brains out. <laughs> One moment. I gotta look up Warlock spells. Is a special one you took, but I need to see how it works. A special warlock spell for a point blank nuke. If you heal, if you cast uh, healing magic on an undead, would that technically hurt it? No. Damn. Okay. I tried. If I want to deal damage, I have better spells than that. Okay. Okay, so I move here and I cast Shatter right there. Okay. What's that spell do? I'm gonna gonna read it off. But it is it's a second level spell. It's instantaneous. Uh, they must make a constitution saving throw, each creature in a 10 foot radius. So it's probably best I cast just behind it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Be better if you cast it right. Right. It would be better if you cast it here. Okay, I cast Shatter right here. If they fail the saving throw, they take 3d8 thunder damage, half as much on a successful saving throw, okay, so in let's... 60 feet. Okay. So you said it had a 10-foot radius? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because if you were to cast it right on it, both of the cleric and our reaper okay, would Okay, so I'm going to cast right it right there. here. Okay. Yeah, that's 15 feet. Constitution so, saving throw must be a 13 on the 
Let me check what my constitution, my DC spell save is 13. Okay. It fails. Ha! Ah! 10 damage. All right. And so what was its additional effects? Okay. Looking that up right now. Additional effects? Have this loads. The creature. Okay. It doesn't have any additional effects. Okay. Alright, so it is now its turn. It I think I made it mad. mad. Oh, yeah, you did. Well, there goes Hope. Yeah, he's nope, <laughs> coming after you. Well, Hope oh, did hey. what Hope could. If I get knocked you know out of this campaign, I get knocked out of this campaign. <laughs> We've already pretty much given up Hope on this hit. fucking monster. What? 18. Yeah, well, goodbye to Hope. Only, this thing only has like a challenge rating of three. You guys should be kicking this thing's ass. Okay. You do realize you have a Reaper, a Sorcerer, and what What are you again? Spell Sniper. I am a, a Warlock. Artificer warlock. You take 11 points of damage. Okay. Oh, he is the easy way. Ah. Oh. Stupid Albear. Yeah. Should have. I should have bought a bow. I really should have bought a bow. Okay, it rolled an eleven. That does not hit. All right. Whoosh is past you. <clears throat> That's its turn. It is now Alexander's turn. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um, you're bruised and battered, but you're back in the ring. Um, I tried this. Thunderous Judgment. Roll with advantage because you're flanking. Roll with advantage for I'm flanking. So that's 2d20, yeah? Yeah, 2d20 plus yeah. all your modifiers. With all my modifiers, okay. Yeah. Oh, without you. With all or without? With dex and proficiency. Okay. Five, six. That's prof. Okay, so you roll... 19 plus 7? That hits. Roll damage. All right. So that's going to... Okay, that's my base attack plus the 2d6. Uh, uh, buh, 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 where's... Do you remember off the top of your head what that is? That's some D8, some D6. D4 plus 1D6 plus 2 more D6. So 3D6 and 2D4. Okay, that's 3D6. 2D6. Without that. Oh, wait. Thunder's Judgment has another effect, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it knocks him back. Okay, so, yeah. It, they need to make a constitu constitution saving throw or be sent flying 10 feet and be knocked prone. Yeah. Okay, so they take four. Okay. There's damage. Fourteen. Twenty points of damage. Okay. Damn. Nice. Okay. Now, if I remember right, it's Constitution. But could you double check, make sure that is what it is? Um, yeah, that's under Reaper. I'm pulling it up right now. Thunderous. Brown. Uh, Valkyrie Wings. It's. You know, I gotta find it this here somewhere. It's on a shift. Bonus action. So, bonus. Duration of concentration. First time. 2d6. Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Strength saving throw. Or be pushed 10 feet away from me and knocked prone. That would knock me prone too. Yeah. <laughs> flying. You really don't like your warlock. Strength. Well, fortunately, it succeeds. Honestly. Okay, so you didn't get knocked over. Yeah. So 
It's hurting, and it's pissed. <laughs> now it's Healer! my turn. So yes, now it is... So now it is Jazz's turn. And since it's moved, you would no longer have disadvantage. No, because I have a clear line of sight. Yes. Gonna How cast... much health does this thing have left? Um, is it, it looks battered. Messed up? It, looks, it looks battered. Does an 18 now, does it look better or yes, does it feel hits. battered? Eight damage, and if it attacks me, me it attacks at disadvantage. All right. Which All right. is now our cleric. Which I am turn. going, going to. Oh wait, no, no, no! You still have your movement up. and stuff left. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to scoot up just a little bit right there. there you go. <laughs> I'm well, also dies. It's not a big loss to the party. I'm also five feet off the ground. Okay, you're hovering five feet off the ground? Alright. Yeah. So? To avoid the rough terrain. Right. So, if that's your turn, it is now our cleric's turn. He's going to move here to get a line of sight. And he's going to say, fuck this wanker, and he's going to cast Guiding Bolt. Why is he all of a sudden British? I don't know. I like using British swears. They're fun. <laughs> Wanga, so, range spell attack. <laughs> really? He rolled a one. <laughs> That's what he gets for being British. Yep. <laughs> Bolt of light just whizzes right across the owl, right over its head. Completely misses. And we are now back i believe no wait he's going to use hmm. yeah no we're back at the initiative order well hope isn't going to move she's going to point her gun point blank at the head and go eldritch blast all right because oh, she's that close roll, roll the advantage because you're flanking okay so i'm gonna roll I'm rolling again. Well, you got a 16. That hits. Barely. Armor Points it right at that and goes, I may die, but you're going down with me. <laughs> and that will be a D10. Let me go to the advanced roller, pick the D10. Okay. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not used to the advanced roller. Yeah. Yeah. It. So. Uh, yeah, okay, the advanced roller I, is the I'm number of dice. It yeah, it's the number of dice, the dice, and then your modifier. I hope it's blast its head on a seven. Okay. Wait. Jazz. Did we? I don't think we added your modifier to that damage. No, I don't think we did. No, you didn't. Okay, so what's your modifier? Four. Charisma. Four. Four, so so you did 12 damage that round. All right. And that was, and that was 12 necrotic damage. Yes. All right, so... <clears throat> It is now the owl bear's turn. And Hope goes, takes the blunt of it. Yep. Come get Love me, you, and I say, come get me, you stupid owl bear. Trying to taunt it, taunt it into attacking me instead. Seven hit. No. All right. First attack, whiffs. Brace for impact. Fifteen. Nope. Really? Okay. Ooh, lucky. All right, so it misses its two attacks. We're back up to Alexandra. No, it'd be a one to be a what? Oh no! Hope, hope already went. Never mind. I'm confuzzled. 
I right, want um, the pleasure of killing this thing. <laughs> uh, Let it kill the warlock first, since you don't like the warlock. Momentum Mori is my bonus action, yes, sir? No. That just happens once per turn. Okay. Okay, um, then I'm just going to go in for a base straight-up attack. All right. So that's 3d4 for your damage. Don't I need to roll for hit first? Yes, roll for hit first. Okay. Would I be with advantage since it's facing hope? Yes. Yes, you would still be rolling okay. with advantage. All right, so that's 2d20 plus dex and proficiency. Okay. Fourteen plus six. Fourteen plus six. So that twenty. Hits. Twenty hits. Alright. Yep, roll damage. And you said four D four? Yep. Three three D four. Three D four. Okay. Dex. Three D four plus Jack. Ah, oh, it would have been a twenty one actually, because I miscounted my numbers. No, I counted. Yeah, I did count count that. Yeah, you, it you have been counted a plus it. Seven. Yeah. I counted it as six, where it should have been a seven. Okay, so Whatever. 44%. 13 points of damage. All right. 13. I have now effectively pissed off the bear. Are you going to use your bonus action? Yes. Yes, I am. Secondary attack? Yes, secondary attack. All right, roll with advantage. Okay, so first two D uh twenty three. That hits. All right, all right, twenty three. Now I roll the three D four again. Yes, roll the same. Okay, what the? Okay, so three D four plus Dex. Fourteen. All right. 14 damage. It is now Jazz's turn. And so now, in order to it. Okay, here. So you're moving there? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and chill. Does 19 hit? Yes, 19 hits. Alright, 1d8. Four. Twelve damage. All right. Minus twelve is now. Our... Hope's turn. No, it is now. Oh no, Clarence's turn. Clarence's turn. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, they are going to use their emboldening bond. What's that do? Basically, as an action, you guys will be able to add a. You can add a you. So, you guys will be able to add a one d four. To, so. Alexandra and Jazz will be now able to add a one d four to any attack rolls they make. Okay. For how long? It is a concentration, I believe it's up to 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So we are back up to the initiative order now. Hope's turn. Uh, did the bear turn its back to me? Yes. You're oh! Oh, uh, wouldn't he be flanking? Because the bear would be been facing... I've been ruling uh, that both of you get advantage, so... Oh, okay. 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 So I'm rolling with advantage. There we go. Twenty-four <laughs> hits. Twenty-four. Yep, definitely hits. Eldritch blast to the rear. All right, you're showing showing Eldritch blast right up its ass. Roll damage. Nine damage. All right. It is. Will that be increased because it's going up the rectum? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he is the Albert the undead Albert is looking incredibly bruised and battered. And probably very angry as well. Yes. It is now it's, it's like, turn. Ah! Why does the undead Albert sound like Michael Jackson? 
Does an 11 hit uh, Alexandra? Uh, no. All right. Second that. 17. Dang it. Yes, that hits. I know I should have done that last turn. You are gonna get your butt handed to you again. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you said seven damage? No, I haven't rolled damage yet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that he's just that you're just gonna get that you're just gonna get riggedy riggedy wrecked. <laughs> it's gonna be a double nat twenty. <laughs> Eleven damage. Oh. Ow, hello. <laughs> You're not looking too Ow. good. I just kind of look over and like, You're not looking too good, are you? Yeah. Uh, I don't right. feel too good either. Okay, that is now its turn. It is now Alexander's turn, assuming you're still up. Yes, I have four health. Okay. It, the, the funny thing is, like, I haven't gotten hit once. Thank God. Because Mr. Mr. DM doesn't want to roll with disadvantage. Hey, it's targeting the one that's actually pissed it off, and so far, you haven't done enough damage comparatively to these two to really piss it off. Well, that's because I don't have anything that deals that much damage. Yeah. Hey, boss man. Yeah? Death Brand. I'd have to roll my 19 or a 20 to get that to work correctly, right? No. No? Death's Brand is a bonus action that allows you to add a plus one to your damage rolls and allows you to crit on a roll of 19 or 20, as well oh, okay. as add does something else. I don't quite remember. If you see the creature, if it... Uh, it allows me to see it if it turns invisible and stuff. Yeah. Okay. You know what? For the one point of damage, I'm going with it. Let's use my bonus action to trigger Death's Brand. Alright. And we are going in for a straight up attack. That is. Do I have advantage? Oh, no, it's looking at me, huh? You still get advantage because it's flanking. Okay. That's D. That's 2. That's D20. Plus Dex. And proficiency. Fifteen plus seven. That would hit. Roll damage. Alright. That's with the extra D four, so that is gonna be four no, D four. No, it's not with an additional D four. It's three D four plus one plus Dex. Yeah, but um your buff that you did last turn. Right, right. Wait, no, that's just to hit. Oh, uh, it's just to hit? Yes. Oh. Don't believe that's oh, the roll right damage. Here. Let's see. Let's see. Well, anybody to any attack roll, ability check, or saving throw it makes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the two attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws, not to damage rolls. Okay. Okay. So yeah, my fifteen plus seven would have been like a fifteen plus eleven. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> okay. Something so like three D four plus dex. Yeah. Plus one. 13 damage. Oh, plus one. So 14 damage. Okay. How do you kill this thing? <laughs> I am going to plunge both my daggers, hilt freaking deep, and this thing's eye sockets. All right. What's your Memento Mori deal? <laughs> Jumps down its throat and rips out from the inside. All right. So you, you've got... Two daggers in this thing's eyes, and a fucking gnome, a shadowy eldritch gnome, crawls down its throat and bursts out its chest like a freaking alien. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> and I, I end my turn by calling out for a nearby cleric. Please help. I run up and heal. Yep. I'm going to use one of my spell <laughs> slots, and I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom. Okay, what's that do? So, normally it deals damage in a 10-foot radial sphere, withering any non-magical vegetation 
and anything that I choose choose either takes two d6 necrotic on a failed constitution saving throw. Okay. In addition, one creature of my choice in that inset area can roll an uh, one of its unspent hit dice and regain a number of hit points equal to the roll plus my spell casting ability modifier. All right. Huh? So, which means I, I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom here and then okay. Alexandra can roll his one of his hit dice and regain that plus my spell casting modifier. All right. Okay, uh what's a hit dice? I don't think we've ever covered this. I believe at this level it's a d6. Okay. So d6 plus 4. four. It would probably be d6 plus 4. So it, it, it is mine. I gain 5 health. And then you also gain 7 from hope. Okay, mm-hmm. so 35, 7 plus hope and 5 from um, uh, Alright, I'm back up to 16 health. Alright. You you should yeah. have more health than that, right? Does the cleric, does, has, did the cleric kill? Oh uh, yeah, cleric will cast cure wounds. Alright. Wait, you said you're up to full, right? No, I'm up to 13, 16. Oh, okay. Full health is 31. Okay, god damn. Actually took a real solid beating there. Okay. You uh-huh. you messed him up. <laughs> that first my attack dude. you did took over half my health. Okay, question: How does the Ortolok have more health than the Reaper? Good question. I'm sitting at thirty-five okay. health. Okay. I'm you only received... sitting at twenty-six. I don't want to hear it. You received twelve points of healing. 28 health, that's good enough. Alright, so Lothar looks around and says, That was pretty rough. We've extended most of our strength, and our health is still not looking great. You guys wanna... I would say we make I would say we just kind of go over make camp. like hide in the hide in this area over here by here or over here and say we take a short rest. I take a short rest over here by the river. Mm-hmm. The, tree, the tree is hired us, and we can fish for dinner and stuff. Fish for a meal here. Mm-hmm. So, are you going to? So, you guys are going to hang out here, take a short rest, and do some fishing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that worked. We'll survive. This is not. Uh, so, is the vegetation non-magical vegetation? Yeah, it's just regular plants. Okay, so this entire tree, tree right here. Yeah, that's is yeah, dead. dead and gone. Okay. Firewood. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's raining, so good luck. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to fish. Right. Lothar will as well. So survival check. Survival check. I D twenty. Wait, it would be a D twenty plus what? D twenty plus wisdom. Right. Hope ain't gonna try to fish because hope is not very wise at all. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Try I, I'm not fishing well. I got three. Again. Eighteen. All right. All right. Jazz. Well, someone's catching the food for us. Jazz finds a nice juicy trout, and uh, Lothar finds a, a medium-sized, smaller, on the smaller side trout. Is this fish big enough to feed everybody? The two combined with any should um it's a start, right? Since that's the only thing you're eating. You guys would have to spend a bit All more right. time fishing. All right. Um I'm going fi- to I'm going to try to catch another fish. Hopefully I can. Yeah, same. Right. Does a 16, 16 catch a fish? Yes, it does. You catch a right. on the larger side medium trout. Yay! Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Catch shark. You catch a like an enormous sized trout. 
Okay, I'm so to I have so, for more enemies. Okay, so you're. And I'm gonna you're roll. Kidding. I'm gonna roll one more time. Hopefully, we have enough to make dinner. I would say by now. And I don't catch. And I don't catch a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you, you guys. Uh, All right. You guys caught enough for dinner. So I'm gonna say, just gonna make another survival check. Gonna, Who's gonna try and cook all this? I, um, I will try to cook all this. All right, make another survival check. Oh man, 16. sixteen. All right, you cook it. You cook the decent the fish up nice and proper. It's nothing super special, but it, it's properly cooked. It's, yeah, it's just a fish. It, it's literally a fish on a stick. Wait, yeah. Is this a short rest? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, my spell slots recover. Yep. There you go. Because I'm and a so warlock. do my and, and um, because of this, I spent. I'm going to spend one sorcery point to recover my second spell, my spell slot for casting Wither and Bloom. But then I just get that sorcery point right back. Uh, huh. <laughs> On a short rest. Both are pretty much out of spells. He has one spell left, I believe. So it's important that my warlock save start focuses on can trips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And hey, boss man, do I regain my stuff on short rest? Don't remember. Let me check. I don't. Part. I don't know where. I don't know where I'd look on the page. I know. And I regain health equivalent to my hit dice. Correct. Uh huh. Oh, do That's I do the same thing? I got, I got lucky. I didn't, I didn't get slapped to Kingdom Come. Now you know how I felt in in uh, Hope's campaign uh, for the first couple weeks. Oh wait, no. So, yeah, uh, you're talking about the fact that I just got yeeted the first round. Yeah, now you know how I feel. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> right. Based off your class, as far as I've read in the book. Each class has a hit die recovery, and for warlocks and artificers, right. it is a D8. Okay, yeah, so. So Alexander will be rolling a D10. Oh, yay! Yeah. So and when I cast three. Wither and. So when I cast Wither and Bloom, that means you roll, and un, the unspent dice would be a D10. Oh. Ah. Okay, actually, uh, I have to roll an additional D8 because I'm level 4. Mm -hmm. So I got 20 enough. health back. Okay. I don't I don't gain anything because I'm already at full health. Hmm. I gain 20 back. I just realized I'm at level 4. Did I write this down? I'm only level 3. I actually have more hit points. Oh, cool. I am almost at full health. No, you get your spells back on so a long at... rest. A uh, long rest? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a warlock thing. Yeah. Because I spent two warlock spells to do I'm my back. thing. Okay. I'm back as well. Okay. <clears throat> Since it is technically the middle of the night at this point, why don't we say you guys finish your meal and take a long rest? Okay. Because being a warlock, Zach, yeah, I would get my spell, all my spell slots back on a short rest. Mm-hmm. That's just the warlock. That's when you do a warlock. That's just how it works. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of handy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm also starting to get a pretty bad headache. You're not feeling great? No. Jeez. Do you mind if Hope heads back to town? I mean, sure. If, if, that, if She'll you're catch not feeling up. great. I'm not. I need to figure out why I'm getting headaches all the time. Yeah, so Hope will head back to town. 
you're gonna... Sorry to bail. That's understandable. These things happen. Yeah. Hope took a bad blow, but Hope had the health to endure it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That thing turned out stronger than I had planned it being. Yeah. Well, I know it's really funny. Hmm. The Eldritch Blast took the rear end. Oh, yeah. Exploded his butt. <laughs> he was not happy about that. <laughs> Don't turn your back on the Warlock. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I'll take my leave. All right, I'll talk to you uh, next weekend. I should be back yeah. in time for that after my vacay. Yeah. Also, my PC's got to restart. Jeez. Oh, right. So, and before it decides to auto restart, just gonna take care of it. Yeah. Right. Sorry. It's understandable. It's all right. Talk to you later, dude. All right. Talk to you later. We'll just say Hope's making a report back in town. Mm-hmm. Reporting to the guards. Yeah, reporting to the guards. Leave it there. Mm-hmm. Bye. Peace. Okay. Sorry, I'm waiting for my... Wait, what happened? Where did... Hey, guys? <laughs> guys? Hope had to leave. Alexander hey, still AFK. Where'd, where'd, where'd Hope go? They had to leave. They weren't feeling well. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll be, be right back. I yeah, got. Right back. I got something to eat. Okay, guys. Okay. So. I am back. Okay, so I. Alright, so I need to. Um, okay, so for a sorcerer, it is a D6 D plus. What to upgrade health? Since it is the middle of the night, why don't you guys take a long rest and convene in the morning? That's Lothar's suggestion. That's 
it's about yeah, 12 o'clock be better... in the evening right about now. That makes sense. So just waiting on Alexandra.
Are you guys there? Hello, can you hear me? Test, test. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Hello. I got a, I got a DM. Do we got a jazz? Yep. All right. All right. All right. Shit's no longer fucked. All right. So, you guys, ready to start? <clears throat> Up, back again. Yep. Yes, sir. So, um, DM, question: With one man down. And we're us taking a long rest. Do we want to just say a long rest till next session, or do we want to try to continue on? Well, let's continue on. It's only been an hour. Mm. Okay. All right. So, you guys recover from your ordeal. Lothar looks at the two of you and says, "Holy shit! That thing was heinous." Did you see how ugly that thing was? Did you feel how bad it hurt? <laughs> no. I didn't feel a thing. Those those calls were sharp, man. Yeah, I didn't feel the a ugly thing. factor didn't help. Oh, you seen a thing? That ugly, that thing was ugly. Oh yeah, it's like I know I saw I saw it rip through you. Yeah. I I turned about fair play though. Rip through me, so I rip through it. <laughs> There's something that doesn't make sense to me, though. What's the up? whole idea of undead is that they're corpses that have been revived by black magic. Right. Yet, we've seen that when something dies in this world, it tends to disintegrate. So where did the corpse come from? Exactly. I fear it may not have been a corpse at all. You think it is um, a corrupted one? Yeah, that might have been some sort of corrupted soul. That like, some heinous being is seeking to corrupt true souls into monstrosities. Can you corrupt, can you corrupt a soul? What? I know lich, liches can do that. And so could a very powerful necromancer. Uh That's uneasy. Because a necromancy is trying to defy death. Defy death, yeah. But Could it have been a reanimated up? corpse and Oh go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, could it have been a reanimated corpse from our world that was sent here? If it was, it wouldn't have been in its true state before death. Hmm. This is where some enlightenment from our god would, our, our deity would help. But she hasn't been too forthcoming lately. No, she has not. 
maybe trying to maybe again try try asking her maybe to find some more facts. You could make a uh, religion check. Seven. Nothing. Nothing. She ain't talking today. Yep. Nope. You don't hear shit. All right. That's three weeks in a row. My my God has not spoke to me. All right. Fourteen. Mm. You hear something? You're just getting a so, few. You don't really hear much of anything either. I think this lady's a tad too picky on who she talks to. It was a DC of yeah. 15. Oof. You, so you just barely failed. Yep. So. Do I have the religion? No, I don't. I see a couple of paths up ahead. Which way do you guys want to go? Well, the Albert came from the west, so I'm thinking well, up. No, the uh, Albert came west? from that tree up in front of us. It came down from the north. <clears throat> oh, okay. It came from this what way. Do we... so I say we. Know... They wandered? I think west would be a good idea to go. Up the stairs or across the bridge? Up the sta- I'm thinking up the stairs. All right. If you're playing it bad, we are going to have to retreat. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> so you guys are going to go scouting up ahead. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Investiga- investigation checks in nearby surroundings, yes? Perception. Perception. Because you're looking okay. specifically not- for threats. Okay, that's just a d20. Plus wisdom. And proficiency if you have it. Plus wisdom. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that's that thing. Okay. Here. Natural 20. The area so, seems perfect. Yeah. Yeah. As far as jazz is concerned, the area seems perfectly safe. Ah. Alexandra, you don't see shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll roll for Lothar. Yeah. He seems fairly comfortable that things are uh, safe. Alright. Did you lay this information back to me? I- I'll let you know. Yeah, let me tell you. Right. It-, it seems fine. I'm gonna go up to here. Mm. Those are some good nachos. Haha, is there a game nom noms on? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that. This is about time when during work week we would be eating like lunch, I think. Yeah, I would. Okay. Mm. Maybe a little bit later. Yeah. With Brent Brent, it would be probably about maybe another hour. It depends on when we leave, but yeah. Yeah. Right Normally it would be around nine ish. Now we roll another perception. Go ahead. Thirteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. So Lothar and Jazz are confident, completely confident that there is nothing nearby. Alexandra's fairly sure. I'm a little skeptical. Yeah, a little skeptical. You don't see anything, but it's a little bit hard for you to tell. Right. All right. I wonder if I can do this. 
We can't fly up and search above because the forest is too dense. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Hmm. Couldn't we fly up and perceive to see if there's an opening in any of the trees? Hint hinting like maybe around a graveyard or something like that. You could certainly try it. All but right. you would be leaving Lothar uh, behind. If you guys want to. Strength check. <coughs> <laughs> Strength check. I would say that considering he's wearing fairly heavy armor, medium armor, and you guys are fairly low yeah. in the strength department, if both of you make checks, you could carry him. All right. I made a All fifth. Right. Okay, 15. Seven. Seven. All right. So since he is a willing creature, <clears throat> I would say Alexandra is like just struggling, but you're able to do it. All right. All right. Now, now we'll, we can uh... check to see if there's a there's a hole. Mm -hmm. So you guys move on Set ahead. Down. Yeah. Yep. Moving on ahead. So we're probably going to come in here. Uh, so we'd be happy. over here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, make a perception check. D20! Nothing. So Lothar points out. Let me bring it up here real quick. Yeah, that was weird. What happened? I don't know. I think I had a lag like in it. Ah. So Lothar notices on an off path up ahead three skeleton archers. They have not yet noticed you because they're not looking for flying creatures. All right. We could fly past them hoping they don't Notice us, but they shoot us, we're all falling. Mm -hmm. If they shoot one of us, we're all falling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the person that doesn't get shot might not fall. <laughs> if they let go fast enough. <laughs> uh, I presume we land and take it on foot from here. Yeah. Do you, you guys keep moving on ahead? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to attempt this right here. How thick is the uh, train? Same as it was previously. Very dense. Is the ground is the ground wet? Yes. Like like soggy wet. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's like mushy footsteps then. Uh-huh. Okay. I would say any stealth check you guys attempt to make would be a disadvantage. Yeah. What if we were hovering off the ground? <clears throat> I mean, there's still the sound of your wings, right? 
Just go flapping, yeah. What do you guys do? Um, where did you see the archers like walking into the path, or were they, or were they already out set up? They were already yeah. set up. It appears they are guarding something. Okay. Are they facing us or away? Two are facing us, and the other is facing away. Okay. Uh, try to get the. Do we want to try to get the jump on them? Um, see how that goes, and to investigate what they're having. Mm. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hmm. It's this, is kind of, far, so. this is kind of a tricky situation. Agreed. Now, well, the upside, there's no mechanical spiders. Yeah. Nothing to throw steam in your face. <laughs> yep. I'm going to freaking slap you. <laughs> well, I mean, I imagine you're accustomed to hot loads in your face. <laughs> Most of them just stick and don't drain off. Hmm. That's right. Skeletons aren't considered undead, are they? They are undead, yes. Okay, they are undead. All right. Yeah. Like, what the hell else would they be? I know. I've also known as Mimic sometimes. Really? I didn't know that. Why would a skeleton be referred to as a mimic? That's dumb. That logically does not make sense to me. I don't know. It's something I saw somewhere at some point in time. They were referred to as mimics. Was it just a mimic disguised as a skeleton? Normally, mimics don't disguise themselves as humanoid things. They'll usually be like, like inanimate objects, like a chest oh, or a chair or a table. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Question: Can we sneak into the? For- can we go into the forest here, and get like a better observation of what's going on in this path? You would need to make a stealth check with disadvantage. Self check with disadvantage, and then a perception check following that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Self check is d20 plus proficiency, and, and that's dex. it, right? And dex. Uh, dex, and, dex and proficiency? Assuming you are proficient in it, yes. Okay, so that's d20 plus 6. Come on, dice. Love me, please. 18. They don't notice you. All right. So we so are. A, no, I'm gonna go say about here. What, hun? Right. One second. Oh. Ben and. Thirteen. So an eleven. <clears throat> they. They are now on alert. They don't see you. They don't explicitly know you're there, but they hear rustling and they're wary. Okay. Great. Can I? All right. So I need a perception, which is you're gonna go over there. I'm gonna go over here. All right. So I'm gonna perceive the area. See if uh, thirteen perceive anything. Um, with the tree in your way, not really. Okay. Can I hear anything talking or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Just be on the slight creaking of bones. God damn it, I'm um, the same. So I don't hear anything or see anything either. <laughs> um, I presume they're hiding something right around here. I mean, uh, it could be a path up there into a base. And so since... If I, if I fly up and scout out, I'm going to 
alert them and leave you guys vulnerable because the flying through the trees would rustle the tr leaves. Um. So I'm going to move myself 5, 10, 15. I'm still in the tree. Half you would need to... Because you are climbing up a hill? You you have, have, have in order to do that? Thing. You would need to make another stealth check with disadvantage. Because you're literally climbing up a muddy hill. In order to get to there. He rolled a two. Yeah. I rolled no. a fucking... <laughs> okay. no. Because of how dense the foliage is, they can't see you, but they know they're you're there, and they're getting ready to attack. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> um... Well, Lothar, I presume you just heard that. Um... I guess ready up? Yeah, ready up. <coughs> Roll All for right. initiative. Unless you'd rather run away. Uh. If they're just skeletons, I think we could probably take them, but... That's they're not just normal. They have anything else. Yeah. Yeah, they're just normal skeletons. We should be well, able to do this. Yeah, we should be able to. If anything else pops up, though, um, we may have to we make out. a tactical retreat. <laughs> a very hasty tactical retreat. All right. Very, a very Let's hasty tactical retreat. Oh, well, right. That's my initiative. God damn <laughs> Why a uh, seven? Jeez. Oh, right, I had proficiency on that, so that's technically a 23. Still. Yeah. Now Lothar needs to roll for his. I'm setting it up right now. So, let's yep. see. Why? We Why? Boner, we, need our, we need our three boner men out here. No, I, I'm, I, I, I do not accept the seven. Well, <laughs> it is what you rolled. Yep, got you, got. It could have been a nat one. I rolled three of them tonight. There's the one. I'm going to set down the initiative tokens in place of the skeletons. Yep. <laughs> Swear to God, the dice hate me right now. Uh, and you just wasted your 19 that you could have gotten two turns from now. Yeah, no, watch the next one be in that 20. Or in that one.
And like this? <laughs> it's a five. five. Oh man, if I could grab <laughs> my wife would be livid. What? Um, you're cooking and you gotta chop vegetables, forgetting your stove is on, so you you set your plastic cutting board on the so on the hot burner. Oh, um, I've actually done that before. Well, no, um, I know somebody who's actually done that before. It's funny as I I've done that but, as a kid. <laughs> uh, by the way, there was a freaking there's a freaking nat twenty <laughs> after the five. <clears throat> Damn it! So initiative tokens are up. Skeleton. Yeah, yeah, skeleton number one rolled an at twenty. So. Oh shit. There you go, Forced. Forty. So oh, they're, they're over there. Yeah, they're over here. <clears throat> oh, I totally thought they was on this little path here. No, they're way up here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm sneaking around this way, thinking I'm going to go up this side. So path since they like don't know hideout. about Lothar and Alexandra, all they know about is Jazz, guess who they're going to be firing at? <laughs> 17 hit. Do you, are you oh, rolling wait, 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 wait. at a disadvantage? Because yeah, yeah, I'm okay. still in cover. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nine. What? What? I go. No, first, nine does not hit. Since I got the twenty-three. With the nine, and that is now Alexandra's turn. Okay, one well, I've got. I was about, I was about to say. I was gonna say it's like you're rolling that. I was gonna say it's just like you. You remember you're rolling at disadvantage because I'm still on cover. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I yes. Know, yeah, make... Otherwise, yes. You would have nailed me square in the face. Uh, I'm going to rustle my way through these bushes over here. Alright. So you move. Um, they hear me. Are you flying? No. That's remember, why I only move that short distance. Well, remember, you're only. Feet. Yeah, you're in rough terrain, so you'd only be able to move you're in 15 rough feet. Half, yeah, half distance. Yeah. 15 feet. Okay. Was that 15 feet? Pretty sure. No, you would be oh, back 20 here. Feet. Oh, okay. You would be back. Yeah, I need to go back. Home. Yeah, you need to go more. here. Yeah. You can only move three squares. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Right. Now, if you're flying, that would be a little bit different. Although, uh, still, so I think it, I think it'd still be rough terrain with all the trees and stuff in the way for us too. Now skeleton number two's turn. Since all you can do is move, unless you want to take a dash action to move thirty feet. No, I'm good. If I step out, if I step here, if I go from here to here, would I have line of sight? All right. Skeleton three rolled an eighteen to hit on Jazz. Remember, you did you roll with disadvantage. disadvantage? He rolled a nineteen and an eighteen. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh God damn it! Why did the dice hate me today? Yes! <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Wouldn't you also be attacking at disadvantage, too? Because I'm in cover? I was going to ask, is this, is it, are we uphill or downhill from the enemies? Okay, so... Jazz is uphill. And Where do, I'm Alexandra down. and Lothar are on the same plane. Oh, okay, okay. So we're on level ground with the skeleton skele men. Okay. So Jazz takes seven points of damage. There you go, that's a good hit. Okay, so... Again, I did not update my HP for my current level. Okay. You're st you didn't upgrade As your HP so from 3 to 4? No, I didn't because I couldn't remember what it was. It's a what plus what? Uh, I mean, it would be whatever Sorcerer gets plus your uh, constitution. 
Yeah. If you hit dash plus con modifier. Okay, so I can go one, two, three squares diagonally. Put me there, and I can just run out from there. Okay, so, that's what so, I so it's six plus con. I think he said his con modifier earlier was four. No, that's his charisma modifier. Never mind. I know what his con modifier is. It is now Lothar's turn. Lothar. Lothar is going to take a dash action. He is going to use his action to dash, and he's going to get about there. Won't that rustle the bushes a lot? Yeah, no, they're aware he's there now. Oh, great. I was just hit, planning to go that direction. <clears throat> and it is now... Skeleton 3's turn. Five. Yeah, also going to roll attack disadvantage against Jazz. Alright, does an eleven hit? Jazz? Um hold on. <clears throat> Barely. Alright. An eleven hits? I have an armor class of 10. Oh, dang. I did not know that. I thought you had an armor class of 14. You take another 7 points of damage. And it is now your turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Okay, so I... It's weird this. I'm casting Wither and Born. All right. So where exactly are you casting it? <clears throat> Wait, how far is it? It's 60 feet. Am I within range? Yeah. I'm casting it right here. Okay. If I remember right, all that does is wither plants, right? Or does it actually deal damage? No. It actually deals damage. Okay. You must, all three skeletons must make a constitution saving throw. Fast and the Furious came out 21 years ago? Dang, Constitution, you must... Constitution, you must beat a 14. Okay, so the first one fails. Second one fails. Third one fails. They all fail. Not a single one of them managed to roll above a 10. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. right. So roll damage. So it would be damage plus... I would get a modifier, wouldn't I? Charisma. Plus four. It's six plus thirteen to each skeleton, as well as it withering the plant life around them. So you kill all of them. They all just turn <laughs> into a pile of ash. <laughs> with, with a single spell. Oh my god. Yep. That works. <laughs> now they only got 13 HP. You did exactly their HP damage. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and let's see here. And a sorcerer's hit dice is... Six. So six plus my spell modifier which is 
four. So six plus four. I get eight hit points back. <laughs> nice. So you recover from one of the attacks and a little bit of the other. Mm-hmm. An arrow just pops out the side of your arm. <sighs> and so... Back to the path. Mm-hmm. Do you guys continue on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Make, make my way out of this foliage. Do you guys attempt to perceive what the uh, skeletons were guarding? Yep. Um, I don't okay. perceive diddly squat. <laughs> he rolled a five. I rolled a five. <laughs> I rolled a four. Ten plus four, fourteen. So, <clears throat> Jazz, you notice a cave entrance. It appears to have white marble floors leading deeper down into the hill. Oh, no. Why I have a bad feeling about this? Oh, forget bad feeling. Um, yeah, oh, this is not good. I would say go in and beat up some people and leave, but um, I think we go beat, up, beat them up. They're going to be ready for us next time we come back. I say we scout, but try not to. Well, it, you gotta keep in mind they're marble. They're marble floors, though. It's been raining. That floor is wet and slippery. I don't see any stealthing across that floor. And it's a downhill slope at that. That's a straight slide in. And You're right. It would be hard be, to make attack. Yeah, it'd be hard right. for us to tactically get out of there too. Well, for us, it would be easy. For our cleric, not so much, because we could just fly out. Yeah. Want to stick our head in the cave and see if we see anything? Why don't you stay here, and I'll go look. Look. All right. You go look. Yeah. Right. I'm going to try... I'm going to see if I can stealth my way into the cave and just take a look around. Alright. Uh, God, that's an eight. And they have already spotted you. <laughs> Don't say that. If 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 they spot us, we're just if they spot me, we're it's just like we're we're just dipping. It's just like we're we're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're we're just gonna out. we're just gonna dip out. Grab Lothar and fly up away fast. Pretty much, it's just like we we just grab him and we just go. Wait a second, marble flooring in the cave. This is not good. This looks like a, a like no, catacombs this, or something like that. Like a no, this looks dungeon. like a no. This looks like a layer almost. Yeah, but to what is the question? So you would be here, and you guys would be off the map right now. Yeah. <clears throat> there, you see dirt floors at the start, leading into what appears to be a marble flooring with red. Fluid flowing down it in some sort of. It's a blood river. ritual chamber. I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a better stealth check. Alright. 
It yeah, was. that's not happening. You are so grossed out by the thick, foul-smelling red liquid flowing down this tunnel that you can't help but gag. You know what? I'm going to make a stealth check and see if I can get in there. Can I, I can I make a perception check to see what it is? Sure. I would say this would be no, not a perception, investigation. Mm-hmm. God damn it, you. Twenty-one, Z. Uh, boss man. You slip in, stealthy as a uh, stealthy as self can be. All right. All right. So, sixteen. For investigation. You're not sure what this is. At first glance, it looks like blood. But as you look closer, it's clearly not. It's some sort of unholy, foul secretion. Demonic fluid. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, I guess I'm gonna go with the perception check, see um, how this dice loves me. See if I can see, figure out anything. Come on, dice love me! A 15? Anything? What were you looking for? Uh, just a, g- general anything in here that I might notice. Um, floor is white, red thing on the ground. It just keeps going on. Oh, okay. Can so I we don't see like an can end I of it? A sam- since I'm a sorceress, and I can I try to collect a sample of it because I have a glass bottle with me. Do you have an empty glass vial? Yes. Then sure. Um. Make a, I'd say, sleight of hand check. To do it without getting anything on your hands. Uh, that's, that's half, ten. Okay. So yeah, as you stick your hand down in it, your hand begins to burn. You take... Three points of damage. But you get some in the vial. I was gonna say, does he get the sample, though? You get the vi- you get the vial filled up, but your hand is just stinging and burning. I just oh, think no. to myself, and I think to myself, it doesn't make sense. If this is a demonic thing, it's like, shouldn't I be resistant to demonic? Yeah, things? I was gonna say if this is de- if this is demonic, uh, we should be at least partially immune. Mm-hmm, because we're or no, not immune, half. resistant. Because we're half yeah, resistant. demons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should have some sort of resistance to it. Um, does our cleric can our cleric um, divine anything out of this? Let me check his spells real quick. I don't think. He oh, I I also want to use detect magic. See if I get like a magical uh, thing off that. You, you know what I could have done? Be could have done because I am very stupid about this. Mm-hmm. I could have used mage hand. And I do have, uh, <laughs> I, I have Mage Hand and I have tele, Telekinetic. I could have used Mage Hand to do this. Yep. Yep. Alright, so, uh, boss, can I, uh, detect magic? If you took that spell, you can certainly have it. Yeah. Alright, so what is that, a d20 to, uh, uh, check? Yeah, just, uh, roll a d20. What, what's the spell say? Uh, the spell just straight up says detect magic. Uh, okay, so you didn't bother actually writing down what your spell does. Okay. No, I think that's the night we were just going over them, and I didn't have the list, so I'm going to good look right now. Right. Let me check what this spell ma- detect magic does. Detect magic, cast time, one action, uh, seven goes. For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see faint auras around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. So as you look down at the red liquid, it does glow with magical power. And you can tell, <coughs> since it also allows you to learn the school of magic, if it has a school, yes. that it is yeah. necrotic in nature. That it is necromantic oh. in nature. Okay, so this does sum up our question if we are dealing with a necromant. Kind of sums up, because necro- liches can use necrotic damage, can't they? Oh, well, yeah. 
Now, okay, so this is either, like we thought, either a lich or a necromancer. Mm-hmm. And if it's a necromancer, it's a very powerful one. Um, could I attempt to... Can I attempt to use the spell Perceive Good and, e good and Evil? Certainly. <clears throat> I don't know exactly don't know exactly what the spell spell entails because I for some reason I even though I have that up but list I don't know if it's a first or first level or second level spell. I do know a lot, it allows you to essentially detect, you know, un fiend, fey fiends, undead demons, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Right, so skills, stuff like that. I'm going to cast perceive good and evil. What's the range on it? I don't know. Hold on, let me look. Mm. Oh, detect good, detect good and evil. Mm -hmm. Um. Range, self, target, self. Yeah, but like, how far I away did, can it detect? Uh, let's see here. Within 30 feet. You don't sense anything. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but it, it is blocked by a one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, and thin sheets of lead or three feet of wood and dirt. You do not sense any any fey, fiend, undead creatures, demonic creatures within 30 feet of you. Okay. I'd, I'd like to be able to mix those two abilities and like scry, kind of like scry the scry the, the fluid. You know if but there's... I don't think we can do that. You know if there is a place or object within 30 feet feet that has been magically um so I could so I could also detect objects too that have been consecrated or desecrated. Okay. Has the water the fluid been consecrated or desecrated? It is most definitely desecrated. So we know so, there's some fucky shit going on here. Yeah, there's there's definitely it is there's this place has definitely heavily been desecrated by something. Yeah. Um Just figuring out what the something is what we need to do. Do we push in farther to see if we see anything? Mm. Since you rolled a good stealth check, it would be better. I'm still stealth here, yeah. Yeah, you you should push push up and see if there's anything hiding before we come in. I come up to about here. Do I do a perception check to check? Or Boss Man perception, so, right? Since you moved, make another stealth check. Right, make another stealth check. Okay. Let's do twenty Twenty four. Still stealthy as still, still stealthy right. as hell. Make a. Are you looking for threats or are you looking for items? Like um, threats. All right, roll perception. Okay. You don't see anything. You don't. Doesn't mean there's nothing there. Yeah. I'm gonna make a perception. What would I roll for, like, a general feel, like, how I feel about the area? 19. 19. Oh, 19. Oh, do you perceive anything? Yeah. Jazz hears rattling coming down the hallway. You don't see anything yet, but you can hear. Uh, are we talking, uh, like, soft rattling, loud rattling? Soft rattling at first, but it's getting louder. I say we turn uh, tail and get the hell out of here. I'm with that one. I'll follow along with you guys. Mm. 
Because as of right now, as of right now, our only goal was to see what to see what was going on and see if we could find anything. But as of now, I don't yeah. think we're quite up to getting our butts handed to us. All right, so we know there's loud rattling in there. The place is heavily des desecrated, oozing with magic. Oozing with necrotic magic. Yeah, necrotic magic. And I, I managed to get a sample. Well, would the, uh, are we able to freely travel between the two planes? You can freely travel up and down the spire. Okay. Would we I want to go we, back I, to the shopkeeper and see if he can um, ascertain any inf any information about the sample idea or about the sample? Mm -hmm. So you guys head on back. Like to maybe town? he can. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, yeah we're heading back to he town. Can, uh, like determine like if he can like see like what type of like dark magic it it is or mm -hmm. um. How recent it may have been des how recently it may have been desecrated, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm gonna say numbers. I bet that's to help help with things around. It's like we want to go here. That's one and whatnot. Right. Probably. It's just it's just it probably it's probably just to help visualize where where we want to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. So right. you guys grab Hope on your way back. You guys all meet up at the tavern or not the tavern, the uh, shopkeeper's place. Hmm. Yeah. Is the shop keep open or is he closed? What time of day? I would say you guys would be arriving in the middle of the night, so it's it's closed. Oh. All right. Um, I'm just do gonna. Do want to sleep on this? I'm gonna just knock and oh, and no. apologize for for disturbing him at, the, at this late hour. But hey, we we yeah. have a we're kind of. Well, first, does he so answer? I would say, yeah. Because this is a tower, right, and his room's pretty high up, you would have to really knock. <laughs> I'm just gonna... We also don't want to get arrested for di disruption of this town. Oh, fine, then I say we go to the inn and recover. All right, come back in the... Come back in the morning because th this morning. is yeah. this is not this is something that cannot wait. Yeah, we come over bright and early. Yeah. All right. So you guys rest in the inn. Yep. Get a long rest. No. Cover. Four of you are just kind of head on back to the uh, shopkeeper. All right. Early morning. Um, yeah, I'll leave this. You go ahead. Right. Amadeus Felch. Felch? I don't remember what his last name is. Amadeus yeah, Felch. Yeah, so. Alright, so I'm going to use Cantrip Mage Hand and grab the vial because I don't feel like touching it. <laughs> Again, not after what happened. Alright. Be careful with this, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Amadeus puts on a pair of gloves. Looks very worried and concerned at that vial and takes it from you. Hopefully we don't get in trouble for bringing this into town. Yeah. We, this is what we've, or what we've discovered. We don't know what this is. All we, all we can tell is that this liquid has, is heavily desecrated by necrotic magic. We were wondering if maybe you could help us determine exactly what or how it happened. Amadeus yep. looks at it, pulls out a little identifying glass, works some magic on it, says, I have no idea. I have never encountered anything that, like this before. 
All I know is that this is evil. This is vile. <clears throat> Only someone Vile knows. as... Vile as... How in, vile are we talking? Are we talking about, like, demonic vile? No, not demonic. It's simply foul. It is necromantic in nature. But it is foul. Truly. Only the blackest of necromancers harness power like this, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so we can confirm this is a necromancer, then. It could. It still could be a lich, because even liches are that Necromancy horrible. is a specific type of school of magic. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Dang it. So it has um, to be somebody who is pure, as pure hatred. Pure evil. Yeah, pure freaking evil. And um, there's only one is, thing that I know that I would have that much evil within them and would be somewhat dead. That would be a lich. I, I, look, I look at him and it's like, do you, what, what are your thoughts on this? Evidence, have there been any worries or concerns uh, arising about in town since we have left? There are worries. Anything? There's rumors of undead, strangely enough, coming down from the far hills. But the town has been fairly peaceful. Okay. So far hills, that's out by the spire, right? Out past the spire. Near the far the edge of the realm. Uh, I uh, look towards Lothar and Jazz. That's out by that dark mountain, then. Mm -hmm. What if we're exploring this other part of Itopia for no point, and that whatever it is that is working with what's in that dark realm? We not we might not be dealing with one thing, but two. Maybe even more. Yeah, do you guys there's, have any there's, ideas? There's has to be a mastermind behind this. Yeah, but well, that raises the question: Where is it? Where is the mastermind? Is the other half of Bytopia or in that dark realm, that dark area, by the mountains. The only way to know for sure was to explore and see if we could find something. But if knowing just from experience, a lot of masterminds like to cover their trail and they cover it really, really well. It's not right. until they they start getting overconfident that they start making mistakes. That's an right. But again. Overconfidence comes from them getting away with it for a long period of time. We don't know how far they have been doing, or how long they've been doing this, so... Right. The only other way to know is if we would find marching orders. That that marble cave pro might have had marching orders in it. Judging by judging by that they were skeletons at the entrance, we heard guarding the I cave. Heard, yeah, guarding the cave. I heard rattling coming down that hallway. That vile liquid. Is probably being used to corrupt whatever they need. Right. So there has to be a ritualistic room somewhere where somebody's doing something. Right. Get a hold Again, of them and pry them for information. Well, you know, we, we could have tried to peel information out of skeletons, but skeletons are kind of dumb. Yeah, and they kind of died pretty quick. Well, it was their fault for shooting me with a damn arrow. Very true. Twice. <laughs> kind of like how you just 
wreck that uh, wreck that undead owl bear for the same reason. <laughs> yep, you deserved it. So, uh, when Hope returns you know, from many... the inn, maybe we could get Hope's um, ideas and thoughts. Yeah, I turn to the shopkeeper and say, and ask, "Do you have a bag of holding?" <clears throat> I would say... He was working on one. No, he wasn't working on one. I thought he was working on one because Hope wanted to uh, learn how to make him. Session one. Did that happen? I don't remember that. I remember he's been working on <clears throat> a device that would allow you guys to teleport between one realm and another. One realm of undead oh, and another. I maybe that's what yeah. I'm thinking of. I remember Hope was wanting to learn how to do something that the guy was making. Yeah, he doesn't have one at the moment. Dang it. Does he know where we can pick one because up? Because what, what we could have done is we could have gotten into a fight with skeletons, and I could have made an undead grenade. Ah. Basically get a bunch of angry skeletons... Skeletons in a bag of holding, fly up, dump them out, and they will attack the first thing they see. Because <laughs> skeletons only have I don't know how I feel. like three. Yeah. So, yeah, they're, I don't know how I feel about putting a bunch of skeletons in a bag of holding. <laughs> uh, very carefully. <laughs> With Hope's knowledge of the dark arts, maybe Hope might be able to interject maybe. more inf more uh, knowledge on us. Because he is a warlock, or she is a warlock. So and she's she also a necro studied... She's also a necromancer too. So maybe she so, her knowledge of necromancy could give more insight as divine to divine us farther. Yeah, as to what this liquid really is. Right. So, all right. So, speaking out of character, we've been at this for about two hours, fourteen minutes. It's almost nine o'clock. Do you guys want to call it here? Since we're getting to the point, uh, we kind of need. Yeah, we kind of need help. So yeah, since we're getting to the point where we need another, or we're going to need our yeah. necromancer. Huh. All right, we can join her next week, uh, next session. All right. Right. Yeah. So thank you all for watching us. We hope you Thanks enjoyed for by, everybody. Beyond the Edge of Fate, third episode. Uh, have a good day. Yeah. Adios. This was this was fun. Hopefully.